Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. We'll wait for one more minute and we'll start. Okay, I think only 17 people have joined. Or if you have any doubts, you can ask in the previous sessions. In the physiology book, I think we have covered all this. Uh, no, I think we are discussing. PPT confirmation, can anybody can confirm? Yes, sir. It is okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, fine. Once again, very good evening all. Today we are uh, discussing about the topic called uh, physiology of work, which is connected with the ergonomics in our, we have discussed in uh, previous class. We have discussed about ergonomics, where and all it can be used and where and all it can be implemented to prevent the accidents or to minimize the accidents and also 
to minimize the occupational illness and also it can be used in uh, various disciplines or various uh, processes like at the time of design or uh, we can use it in any current condition or existing plant modifications and also this can be used for the improvement of the existing risks as well and also this can be implemented in multiple stages as we discussed in previous class okay basically the ergonomics will be benefited sir, evening, sir. Company. hello sir good evening sir this is sir good evening cheppandi baunara baunana sir meer baunana sir baunara nen baunana cheppandi sir doubt undi cheppandi sir performance anedi ipudu manaki million man hours lo manam achievement ani cheptuntam kada 2 million man hours 3 million man hours sir 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 nanu excuse me this doubt we will discuss in the end of the class just please park okay okay sir okay, okay. just keep, keep a note of it definitely we will discuss this okay, okay it is not uh, relevant to the previous class we will discuss in the end of the class sorry for that okay okay sir okay. yeah yeah thank you thank you okay this ergonomics basically it helps the organization for the increasing the productivity and also minimizing the workers fatigue basically ergonomics the fundamental phenomena is how you are going to fix the work with the convenience to the operators or the people whoever is working so that they can conform or they can perform the activity without any problem or without facing any health issues and this physiology is talking about about the work how they can perform you see here the physiology is the science of dealing with functioning of living organisms on their parts and human physiology is a study of normal functioning of cells tissues and organs of the human body which means if it is a human physiology it will be talking about the functioning of cells the human body is completely made up of multiple cells and tissues and organs so this will be talking about the functioning how a cell is functioning how a tissue is functioning how an organ is functioning this will be discussed in a physiology the science of physiology is related to the anatomy anatomy means structure structure of a human body which is the study of a structure of cells tissues and organs of a human body ante anatomy anedi oka structure aithe which study the structure of a cell cell structure ela untundi a shape lo untundi ela untundi enta parimanalu untundi ela pan chestundi tissue anedi ela untundi enta parimanalu untundi ela pan cheyali organs kuda ela tavaru avuthe what will be the shape what will be the size and what will be the function of the uh, organs and also structure and from an uh, anatomical point of view structure of a body can be classified into systems which have a particular functions because we have different kinds of systems we have a nervous system we have a muscular system we have a skeletal system. everything will have a different function muscular system will be for the using of for our uh, movements for uh, do perform some activities nervous system for the giving a signals to the specific organs what to be performed and to understand the effect of physical and chemical agents on the body we need to understand a normal functioning of organs or organ systems which these agents target which means to understand the effect of the physical and chemical agents on body we need to understand the regular functions then only we can understand for example if you take in a student we don't know his basic understanding level his previous uh, scoring how is uh, read what is his marks and all immediately if he join in the other school he cannot judge directly so we should know generally how he can study and how many hours he can able to study 
and how he is attending the class and what is the the grasping power how he is taking the class into the mind and also how he is uh, thinking ability this all will we should be known then only we can understand if i teach whether he can able to understand it or not the similar way to see the effects of physical and chemical agents on body and how this physical environment going to affect the body first we should understand how my heart rate is working at normal temperature or normal in a room i am not doing anything i am simply sitting or simply uh, uh, i mean uh, falling position in the bed or i am just simply lay down on the bed my what is the my physical condition or what my uh, heart is functioning liver is functioning kidneys are functioning in other case i am working near a foundry where the temperatures are more various fumes are there various gases are there at that time how my body is working or how my body is resisting the existing environment to make it comfortable or to make uh, adjustment to that environment and the system of human body or the skin respiratory system cardiovascular system and nervous system muscles liver kidney uh, gastrointestinal tract and ear the respiratory system will be liver and git defend ill effects of the toxic substances this gastrointestinal tract this gastrointestinal intestinal tract will be toxic for example we have a liver this is the biggest uh, internal organ in our human body internal organs not outer organ this is the biggest organ in our human body internally so how the liver works whatever the toxicants whatever the chemicals whatever the filter before which is absorbing to the blood stream whenever you are taking any tablet or any uh, alcohol it will liver will have a some limit up to that it can able to filter and it will not allow that into blood stream after some time at some period it is reaches the saturation point of the functioning of the liver then whatever the intake you have taken that will be effect on the other organs for example if you take a water and you put some sugar you have stilled it it is completely uh, dissolved in water and you have added one more uh, kilo of sugar to that water still it is diluted and you added one more kilo of sugar what will happen it will diluted maximum then the sugar will remain same in a container the similar way whenever you have taken any toxicants the liver will can able to filter it for some sort of quantity of that toxicant then whatever remains are there which is above the limit of a liver function it will be send it to the or which will be bypass the liver function and it will connect into the blood stream or it will be affect on the other organs if you see other systems skin respiratory and cardiovascular system nervous muscles and livers then physiology of respiration how physiology and which means the function of a respiration we'll see the respiration is a aerobic or anaerobic function now we'll see aerobic it is an aerobic respiration is the process by which a living organism or their components take oxygen from the atmosphere to oxidize their food to obtain energy and anaerobic respiration is the process by which organisms or their components obtain energy from chemically combustion when they do not have access to the free oxygen which means anaerobic will be most of the viruses or bacteria will be there and aerobic will be like us and other animals which is living beings they will take the the freely available oxygen by inhaling method and this anaerobic will be by the chemical reaction it will not take direct oxygen it will be re- with that 
reaction output whatever the oxygen will generate that these anaerobic respiration will be consuming it and many organisms can respire anaerobically for a short time only but certain bacteria depend entirely on anaerobic respirations that's why the bacteria will stay more longer this will be reacting with the available materials nearby so that it will make to generate the oxygen that oxygen will be consumed by the bacteria respiratory continent well, we'll see what is does it mean is the ratio of the volume of carbon dioxide expired by an organism or tissue to the volume of oxygen consumed by it over a period it means the ratio of volume of carbon dioxide which is expired which means which is exhaled by a organism we can say human or a tissue to the volume of oxygen consumed by the same period and a period low and they the oxygen will consume chaser and the total volume low and they the carbon dioxide will release chaser or the volume of oxygen consumed and the consume chest there and the air is good a million the carbon dioxide and release it in the regain day and respiratory pigment will be a substance formed in blood cells or blood plasma that is capable of combining loosely and reversibly with oxygen example hemoglobin we know hemoglobin hemoglobin means it will major part in our blood and it will be formed with the substance formed for the blood cells with the plasma capable of combining loosely and also reversibly with oxygen which means blood clotting under this is the formula how a blood can clot muscle contraction muscular work we used to see some of the sportsmen will get a muscle contraction they used to tell muscle contraction has happened he is getting pain even some sports people also in between sport also they used to get a muscle got contract and they used to uh, get to so severe pain if you see here there are about 200 uh, skeletal muscles in body and many consists of uh, bundles of muscles and each of which is wrapped which means there are 200 types of muscles if you see we know only thighs and uh, biceps triceps chest muscle and all we used to call six pack eight pack apart from that there will be a 200 types of muscles many consists of bundles of muscle it is not a single muscle it will may be a bundles all together like a rope how we will make a rope it will be having uh, multiple types of small ropes together eh? one big rope so similar way it will contain um, bundles of muscles and each of which is wrapped wrapped in the sense it is packed as a total muscle how it will be if it is wrapped together to become a one solid muscle it in connective tissue in which the nerves and blood vessels are embedded which means e muscle to part manke untai nerves untai also blood vessels kuda dintlo manaki samakurchabadi untai anamata so that it will be as a complete tissue the tissue combined to form a, a tendons and connect to the end of the muscles to the bones evaithe unnayo it will make an a connection with the bones otherwise connected with the muscles to make a shape out of it the muscles will allow us for a flexibility to take the loads and weights and these muscle is connected with the bone for the jointing of all the bones the only active action a muscle can do it is contract and it is done by the uh, filaments and the elongation is brought about the external forces muscle it can do only contraction it, it, the muscle itself it will not do any elongation elongation in the sense if you are lifting anything 
then what will happen the muscle get uh, enlarged or elongation will happen for example in a gym if you are doing exercise for the biceps mir dumbbell this kon exercise chestunnar em avutundi while doing dumbbell exercises your muscle get elongation also contraction generally the muscle alone it will only do contract it will not do any elongation that's why it is called as elongation is brought about by an external forces if you are putting any external force on the muscle then only it can start elongation otherwise the muscle the function is only contract or contraction now we'll see a muscle <coughs> muscular work what does it mean exactly during muscular work the physiological functions change from a resting level one second okay sir definitely i will i will explain in telugu also no no problem yeah muscular work during a muscular work physiological functions change from the uh, resting level and heat rate blood pressure cardiac output respiration uh, pulmonary ventilation oxygen uptake and uh, carbon dioxide production chemical composition of blood and urine body temperature and rate of respiration etc will increase ante entante eppudaithe mana muscle anedi work cheyadaniki start avutundo eppudaithe our muscle got involved in work eppudaithe mana muscles ane vaadtamo appude em avutundante from the rest level initially it will be in a rest level that's why uh, our uh, trainers or people used to tell before playing a game they ask us to do warm up or before you are doing any exercise they will ask us to do a warm up warm up workout so warm up workout cheyatam valle entante the muscle get heated up the muscle uh, uh i mean uh, what do you call uh, given a bump to perform the workout so that in the activity of muscle muscular work what will happen blood pressure anedi increase avutundi carbon dioxide production anedi perugutundi enduku muscle work chestunnam ante manamu ekkuva gaalu peelchukodam jarugutundi if you are breathing more automatically you will exhale more carbon dioxide and respiration also will be increased and body temperature will increase rate of perspiration also will increase they come back to resting level when the work stops it is common for example you are meer running keltunaru running kelapudu em avutundi running chesadapudu automatically meeku heart rate perugutundi sweating vachestundi body lo changes vachestayi tarata meer respiration perugutundi heart rate perugutundi blood pressure perugutundi so these many changes will be happen during me uh, your muscle is under work malli eppudu rest lo vastundi eppudaithe meeru running cheyata aapesi rest isukuntaru 10 15 minutes appude em avutundi malli normal ayipotharu the period during which the work continues known as a work cycle and the period during which the physiological functions return to the resting level is known as రికవరీ పీరియడ్ అందుకని చెప్తుంటారు రికవరీ అవ్వాలి మసిల్ రికవరీ అంటుంటారు ఎవరైనా జిమ్ కి వెళ్తున్నా లేదంటే ఎవరైనా స్పోర్ట్స్ పర్సన్ ఏమైనా ఇంజూర్ అయినా కూడా వెళ్ళిపోవాలి రికవరీ పీరియడ్ రికవరీ పీరియడ్ అంటే ద పీరియడ్ డ్యూరింగ్ విచ్ ద ఫిజియోలాజికల్ ఫంక్షన్స్ రిటర్న్ టు ద రెస్టింగ్ లెవెల్ ఈస్ నోన్ యాజ్ ఎ రికవరీ పీరియడ్ వర్కింగ్ సైకిల్ అంటే ద పీరియడ్ డ్యూరింగ్ విచ్ ద వర్క్ కంటిన్యూస్ is known as working cycle ante working cycle ante me running chestune unnaru running ent sepet chestaru dan anta kuda working cycle antaru recovery period ante ee physiological functions anni malli normal state ku vaste danni recovery period antaru now we'll see some of the uh, physiological factors ante ee muscle activity lo physiological factors ane em em unde chuddam first one fuel or a combustion combustion ante enti fuel ante enti energy manaki em untundi energy bandu ko car ko aithe petrol or diesel untundi manaki chaala ragala energy lu unnai 
we have a many fuels for the human body to run we have vegetarian we have non vegetarian fuels in the vegetarian fuels there we have a number of uh, different types of vegetables different types of leafy vegetables different types of nuts grains in non veg also they have many types of uh, non vegetarian and we have seafood the fuel also we have and we have fruits but also one kind of fuels because so we have so many fuels to run this human body one is the nutrients carbohydrates fat protein and their intake and storage these are the some of the, the other forms of a food what we are consuming carbohydrates we used to consume every day every food will can definitely contain carbohydrates it will have some fats and uh, proteins as well then res respiratory quotient this respiratory quotient means already we seen the ratio of carbon dioxide produced to the amount of oxygen consumed for consuming 1 liter of oxygen how much carbon dioxide it has been produced that is called respiratory quotient role of an oxygen which means a demand a requirement supply in the oxygen extraction and uh, cardiovascular functions means a cardiac output stroke volume and he, he, uh, heart rate blood pressure that is a cardiovascular functions cardiovascular functions ante gunde kottukune vidhanam cardiac arrest antu untaru cardiac arrest ante endante gunde aagipovatam alantivi respiration respiration ante endante tidal air uh, pulmonary ventilation air volume exhaled per minute enta air anedi mano exhale chestunnamo respiration ante simple ga endante mano gali peelchukune విధానాన్ని మనం రెస్పిరేటరీ సిస్టమ్ అంటుంటారు రెస్పిరేషన్ అంటే ఏంటంటే ఎంత ఎంత ఎయిర్ ఇన్ టేక్ చేస్తున్నారు లేదంటే వాల్యూమ్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిర్ ఎక్సైల్డ్ ఎంత అయితే గాలి వదిలేస్తున్నారు దాన్ని రెస్పిరేషన్ అంటాం టుగెదర్ తర్వాత బాడీ టెంపరేచర్ ఇది కూడా ఒకటి దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో వన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫిజియలాజికల్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ వైల్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ ఏ మస్క్యులర్ యాక్టివిటీ then physiological reactions what will be the reaction one second guys one second okay sorry yeah we have seen the uh, physiological factors now we'll see the reactions uh, which will involve in the uh, muscular work when it will be the intensity of muscular activity and intensity what is the intensity enta intense ga ante enta gatti ga ledante enta active ga mee muscles anevi involve avutunnai then in other case age which means uh, aerobic work capacity age kuda manaku oka reaction uh, then uh, heart rate anedi ela response avutundi tarvata pulmonary ventilation ela tarvata blood lactic acid and concentrations ivanni dantho patuga age anedi anamata as stated in age and above then uh, 
body built which means how physically they are good that is also uh, one thing then uh, physical fitness physical fitness also will be matter then nutrition nutrition in the sense uh, what kind of food they are taking to get uh, good nutrition levels then the frequency of meals how many meals he is consuming then nature and uh, quality of food what quality of food he is consuming it then digestive power how is digestive sometimes somebody will have an a digestive problem for the food that is also a matter then training heart rate and the blood pressure and stroke volumes and the respiratory responses and the cardiovascular recovery process and aerobic capacity and the lactic acid in blood all this will be reaction to the blood then temperature and humidity of work environment that is also one the cardiac output and the recovery heat rate body temperature and also work output and also the posture this is what we have uh, discussed in our uh, ergonomic topic the posture of employee the work posture that is also one reaction then clothing clothing also is one of the reaction process where the people are working then a criteria for the limits of manual lifting and carrying so that how we can able to limit the people used to sell tell that uh, sir we are unable to lift it or people are any any warehouse area or any lifting activity or any specific work area wherever the manual uh, lifting is it very much compulsory so people are frequently falling under sick maybe due to the frequent handling of this material so in such a kind of situation how we can able to manage so one thing is the horizontal and location uh, in front of the uh, midpoint between an ankles at the origin of lift that is the one horizontal hand location in front of the midpoint between ankle and the origin of the lift origin means from the center of the lift then vertical location at the origin of the lift vertical travel distance which means enth thooram ayana pan chestunadu vertical location horizontal location and origin in oka weight yokka center nunchi vertical ga horizontal ga లిఫ్టింగ్ అనేది ఎలా ఉంది ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వర్టికల్ గా ఎంత హైట్ లో లిఫ్ట్ చేస్తున్నారు హారిజెంటల్ గా ఎంత లోపల చేయడం జరుగుతుంది ఎలా అనమాట హారిజెంటల్ అండ్ వర్టికల్ అట్ వాట్ హైట్ ఈస్ టేకింగ్ ద పార్ట్ అవుట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎ స్టాండ్ ఆర్ ఎనీ స్టూల్ ఆర్ ఎనీ ర్యాక్ సిస్టమ్ దెన్ వర్టికల్ ట్రావెల్ డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ఆరిజన్ అండ్ డెస్టినేషన్ ఆఫ్ లిఫ్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో మ్యాటర్ హౌ ఫార్ ఈస్ క్యారింగ్ ద లిఫ్ట్ ఆర్ క్యారింగ్ ద లోడ్ to deliver that is also a matter then average and maximum uh, sustainable frequency of lift enta average and maximum sustainable frequency enni sar lift chesina enta tarachuga aina a weight ana lift cheyadam jarugutundi tarata load is lifted by two hands directly in front of body and no twisting during lifting which means the load is lifted by two hands directly in front of the body no twisting which means ఉన్న చోటు నుంచే ఆయన బరువును ఎత్తుతున్నాడు ఎత్తే 
ప్రక్రియలో హీఈస్ నాట్ ట్విస్టింగ్ ఈజ్ బ్యాక్ అంటే ఆయన నడుముని తిప్పకుండా ఉన్న పొజిషన్ నుంచే ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ బాడీ నుంచి ఆయన లోడ్ ని లిఫ్ట్ చేయడం అనేది జరుగుతుంది అదొకటి దెన్ ద లోడ్ విత్ ఈస్ మోడరేట్ థర్టీ ఇంచ్ ఆర్ లెస్ ఏదైతే లోడ్ ఉందో అదే మోడరేట్ గా ఉంది ఇట్ ఇస్ మినిమం లేదు నాకు పెద్దగా ఒక వన్ మీటర్ టూ మీటర్ ఉందంటే వీ విల్ నాట్ గెట్ ఇనఫ్ ప్రాపర్ గ్రిప్ ఫర్ దట్ లోడ్ టు హోల్డ్ ఇట్ దెన్ వర్కింగ్ పాస్చర్ ఈజ్ నాట్ రెస్ట్రిక్టెడ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వన్ విచ్ మీన్స్ ఏదైతే ఆయన పని చేసే పోస్టర్ కూర్చోనా నించోనా లేదంటే హాఫ్ సిట్టింగ్ పొజిషన్ లో ఉన్నాడు లేదంటే కొంతసేపు కూర్చొని చేస్తున్నాడు కొంతసేపు నించోని చేస్తున్నాడు లేదంటే పరిగెడుతూ చేస్తున్నాడు లేదంటే కంటిన్యూస్ గా ఆయన పని అయితే వాకింగ్ ఉంటుందా ఎలా వాట్ ఈస్ ద పోస్టర్ అంటే ఏ పొజిషన్ లో ఆయన కూర్చొని పని చేస్తున్నాడు ఏ పొజిషన్ లో ఆయన పని చేస్తున్నాడో ఇట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి రిస్ట్రిక్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో వన్ దెన్ గుడ్ కపుల్ గ్రాస్ ఆర్ అప్లైడ్ విచ్ మీన్స్ హ్యాండ్ విత్ హ్యాండిల్స్ ఆర్ Uh, shoe with the floor which means how he is uh, able to grasp the load how he can able to hold the load with the proper grip that is also one then uh, physical environment is uh, favorable that is also one how the physical environment so that is also a matter the physical environment will be like whether it is cold or whether it is uh, hot condition or whether it is in uh, slippery surface or whether it is humid or whether it is in a dusty workplace all these things will be matters how the physical environment one is the horizontal hand location and vertical location from the origin of the lift then the physical travel distance then average and maximum sustainable frequency of lift then how is going to lift without to see and what is the width of the load and uh, working posture is in environment these are the some of the criteria for the limits of a manual material lifting if it is horizontal distance is more that is a limit every we have some every people will have some limit from kid to the elder elder to the uh, aged people everybody have some limit how horizontally they can approach to take out the load then vertically also it depends on the height of the people it is also higher one limitation then vertical travel somebody can able to take 100 meters maybe others may take to 200 meters or somebody else may take to up to 500 meters that is also one limitation then average and maximum sustainable frequency this is also one limit because you cannot give a person in 8 hours to lift 1000 times because he is not a machine that is also one limitation then uh, load is lifted by two hands and directly and twisting maybe some of the work locations or some of the activities it may be a mandate or by the by by practicing it uh, they are doing twisting that is also a limit because if he is more is twisting his back definitely he is get injured of his backbone then width of the load that is also a limit if the load width is very high and that is also a problem to handle then a good coupling of are uh, applied which means able to uh, grasp the load 